Welcome back to the channel. We're just getting cameras all set up. It is opening day in Quebec for dead bait, multiple lines, and that can only mean one thing. We're on the ice chasing muskies. We're here at 6 o'clock a.m. this morning, an hour in the dark. We just got all our spread set up. We got 18 discs out, tip ups with the flags for any of you that don't know. And we have the live scope in the tent. We're gonna be jigging some big tantrums. And I'm with Steve-O, he's gonna be jigging crappies. And we are hoping to get on the first muskie of the hard water season. Should be an awesome day. There's a pile of bait fish in here. The live scope right now is just loaded with bait fish. But if you're new to the channel, don't forget to go down below, subscribe, like, hit the bell, all that good stuff. And let's get after it. Today should be an amazing day and I'm hoping to get the first muskie of the season on top of the ice. Let's get it. We got a flag already. Just finished intro. First flag of the season. It took a pile of line. Still there. Just want to make sure that the fish actually starts to go away from me before setting the hook. We got some really big mackerels out and then we got some medium suckers. So I'm really not sure. I don't know. Okay, it's starting to go away. Got him. Feels heavy. Really heavy. It's definitely not a pike. Uh, maybe it's a pike. Oh no, it's a muskie. Nice one. It's a muskie. We got one. Oh, First one of the year. I caught this fish last year. Broke back. That didn't take long. <laughs> First one of the season. All right. So there is the first muskie of the season. Nice little fish. We'll get a quick bump on her here. She's got a broken back. 43 incher. 43. She's got a weird broken back. I'm almost positive I caught this fish last year. So we're gonna get her back. She should take off really good here. My hands are frozen, but it's the first one of the year. 43, broke back Nessie here. She's ready. Bye bye girl. Let's go. Let's go. Gotta get this rig reset, but we're doing that in the tent. All right. We got one. We're having Nutella crepes, celebrating. We haven't been in the tent. 10 minutes. I literally just finished my intro, looked outside, flag was up. Like we were on our way there and it was just like going. Set the hook, really nice fish. I'm almost positive I caught that fish last year. It had like this weird like hump, broke back. 43 inch, Mondo, what a way to start the season. And that is just the beginning because we're gonna be on the ice every day this week leading up till Christmas. I got a few clients uh, doing some fishing with buddies. It's actually my birthday tomorrow and uh, birthday muskies is always a thing. For the last like 10 years, I always come out on the ice, fish muskies, and uh, I've had some big fish over the years on my birthday. So today's a great warm up. We don't have ice everywhere that we wanna be able to get, but this little corner that I'm in right now always seems to hold fish when they're here. They're either here or they're not. Last year me and Steve came here and we had like three days in a row where we didn't catch and then we ended up having a freeze that we could get out a little bit further and then we had a crazy day. So the fact that we got in this little bay and we had fish right away, the peak of our major. Our major this morning was 7.42 till 10.42 and at nine o'clock right at the peak tip top tippity of the major, that fish came and uh, definitely welcomed. Beauty, beauty fish. So I'm about to get jigging. I'm gonna start with the big tantrum and I have some slugger rods from frostbite with the tranks got some barbarian braid on there and 130 pound floral leaders and we're gonna do some jigging on the live scope and see if we can get one to come up through the whole jigging that would be a wicked start to the season I think it's gonna be a multiple fish day we are early in the day and there's a pile of bait in here seems to be that the muskies are here with the bait so 
or should just see flags just pop pop popping all over the place so without further ado like i said there's a pile of crappy and bait down there so i'm gonna get that big tantrum on we'll probably try some mini medusas and uh maybe some bondy baits as well and let's get back to jigging what a way to start let's go let's go so for any of you new to the channel we are fishing these muskies with either mackerel or like these big chubs and suckers on quick strike rigs one hook just behind the head like that the second hook down by the tail this fish this sucker's torn up it's just sitting just like that suspended below the ice and i'm fishing them on these fabril discs with the flag so the the reel essentially sits in the water and can't freeze and then this flag tucks underneath the little hanger here and as soon as this gets pulled it turns that up top and it releases your flag fish can be free spooled and uh, you know that one's up and he's not feeling any tension and then you got to check your flags frequently to make sure you don't have fish swallowing your bait and getting hooked in the gullet but as long as you're checking frequently and hitting those fish fast when they're taking off so we're just getting this flag back in this is only like maybe six feet of water so I only have probably three feet of line under the ice and then I'm just taking my disc because I have a 10 inch hole here I use a stick put it halfway across the hole like that that way my disc can't get pulled under and uh, disc just sits on top and we wait for that flag to go Holy f what look at him on oh the screen oh my god I see All right, I was not fishing, and this muskie is on the screen right here. It's oh, yeah, coming, he's up. coming up. He likes it. That is a muskie for sure. It's almost four squares. He likes it. He does. Come on, on the tantrum. Oh, he's coming for it. It's right under it. Pause, maybe? Oh! I got, you got him. him. Broke the rod. Broke the rod. A big one, dude. 50 inch. It broke the rod. Oh my god, it's huge. It's huge. I broke the rod. We got a huge one on, boys. Broke the rod on the hook. Broke the rod on the hook set. Oh! That's so dangerous with that lure. Tantrum. Let's go, boys. <laughs> Broke the rod on the hook set. Look at the rod. Ah, <sighs> look at the rod completely <laughs> gone. Okay, I That's gotta get this hook out. Yes, beauty. That's a beast. Man. Let's get a bump on him. Yeah. The reels over there. There's a piece of rod there. <laughs> What do we got? 44 and a quarter. 44 and a quarter. But fat! Yes. Fat, 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 fat. One more look at her. Oh, we're gonna get her back. Look at that belly, yes. man. What a beautiful fish. All right, a 44 incher. So fat. We saw her in the live scope. Just come up to it. She's ready to go here. Bye, girl. Yes. Let's go, man. So Epic. We, we saw her come up on the live scope, and she kind of like was swimming by. I didn't even have a rod in the water, and then I like dropped down. I was right on top of her. Started moving that big, big, big mama tantrum right there, 
And uh, yeah, I was just kind of like bouncing it on the spot. She came right up underneath it. And I tried pausing it and she didn't like it and I started bouncing it again. I didn't even feel the bite because of how much she pushed it upwards. I heard the bait get hit. Like I heard like that and I had saw she lunged for it. And there was no like, when I was trying to bounce the, the lure, there was no more like weight of the lure. I double hook set, double handed hook set that rod so hard and got like, the rod just broke in half. I was, I, I set real hard though. Like I've set, I've caught a lot of fish on these frostbite rods and that's the first one that broke it. But we got two more spare backup ones so we're gonna set up a new uh, Vanta Black Slugger and we're gonna get that back down there jigging two fish a day! It's Let's insane. go! Insane. She died. It's the new dead stick rod. She's a dead stick. Tranks is still good. We got a backup though. Ready to go. There's my bait on the left side of the screen. Right on top of that weed patch there. You can hear it rattling. Oh, just oh missed Steve it. just missed a perch on the right side of the screen. Fish. Big fish. That's a muskie for sure. That's a nice fish. He's just swimming through though. See him perfectly on that live scope. Come back. They're moving around though. Moving. We're definitely getting another fight. Oh yeah. See they're up small musky or a nice pike. It's funny because I just finished saying like once all the little bluegills go away it's because there's something and I saw them all leaving to the sides and then this guy just shows up. There's definitely a musky or a pike. Oh, yeah. That's a giant that one. <laughs> he just came out of nowhere I'm just chilling under my bait. That was even bigger than the last one. Like that was a different fish. Oh, we've been seeing some big fish on the live scope. And now we got a flag. Oh yeah, right beside the tent. We got one here. It's turning. Come right here. It's gone that way. So the fish has taken the bait, gone out this way, kind of stopped moving. If he starts moving again, I'll give you it and I'll say to hit it. And I'll land him for you. Yeah. I feel him. He's just kind of placing it for sure right now. Coming back to us, switching sides. He's going around this way now. It's gonna start going away. There we go. Go. Hit him. Yeah. Set it hard. Oh yeah. Right here. Go slow, go slow, go slow. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait, wait. don't pull him out too far. We got him. Let's go. Number three of the day. Number three of the day. Let's go, buddy. Yes. I'll get you there. So now, fish care, super important. Keeping that fish dunked. And he's got the hooks perfectly. So, undo that hook, take it out. That hook right there is like that hooks out. Oh. Ah, save the minnow. Save the minnow. Save the minnow. Super important. Let them get their drink, oxygen, keep their eyes in the water like that. Make sure that the fish can breathe, has no gills freezing up, eyes freezing up. It's warm today, so we're lucky, but. Third fish of the day. Let's go, buddy. Beauty. Number three of the musky opener day. Opening day. Third fish. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Now we're gonna flip her head back in. Let's 
Thank you, baby girl. And you just hold them by the tail until they, you can feel them tensing up and they'll tell you when they're gonna go. Third one of the day. Oh yeah. Say, <laughs> let's go, buddy. Yes. It's sad. I feel her slowly getting her, her life back here. What you really don't want to do is just like throw her down the hole and hope for the best. You, just like summer fishing, just hold them by the tail, let them regain their composure. That's my blood. Steve's blood. Alright, there she goes. Bye bye. Let's go, baby! Number yes. three! Number it's three! Insane. What a day! It's insane, it's insane, it's insane. What a day! What a day. We still got, it's like only one o'clock. We still got a bunch of time left here. So let's make it happen. We got a flag. It's not moving. Maybe it's the Did he drop it? I kind of feel like maybe he dropped it. Damn, false flag. He took some line though. Yeah, he definitely took line, man. Might come back. Well, we just had a false flag. That was the first false flag of the day, actually. We've been uh, having quite a bit of action. Steve has been slaying the perch all day. <laughs> three inches. Literally three inches. Little sausages. And uh, we had the fish on the flag this morning, right after setting up. Jigging fish. Steve's fish on the flag, and now that fourth flag, and uh, we've probably seen five different fish on the live scope today. The fish seem to be very active. We're like three or four days away from new moon. New moon is Friday and it is Tuesday today, so it should just be getting better and better as the week goes on. It is 3.41 right now. We have sunset at 4.15, so we'll probably stay for maybe another hour or so, start packing around 4.20. But uh, with that false flag, there's still hope. There's still hope that we can get one more flag. So, and normally, when we have these flags later in the day like this, it's usually a big, big fish. Like most of my giant 50s from this spot have all come like as the sun is setting. So, fingers crossed for one more. And uh, Steve's going for a work meeting, so the perch <laughs> slaying is going to be over for a little bit. But I think we can get one more muskie on the top of the ice here. Let's see what we can do. Let's get it. Get it. We got a fish here. Big fish. Huge fish. It's positioning up to it. That's a giant. It's right on it. That was a giant. Come back. That would be so good. Another one on the jigging rod. Seven or eight feet away. As soon as he heard me start moving that bait, he just charged over to it positioned up on it and then never committed well that about wraps it up i guess we just had that huge fish come in on screen and it had to have been very close to 50 inch it was all the four squares biggest fish we've seen all day by far on the live scope but it never wanted to commit and it kind of moved off in the direction of some flags sun is going down right now steve's in his meeting in his car so i'm going to slowly pack up the tent here get the tent all packed up and then I'm gonna go around and get all the discs so we might still get another fish but if we don't thanks guys for checking out this awesome video this week like can't believe first day out for muskie on the ice we had three fish one of them on a jigging rod and it was absolutely epic so we're gonna be back out here tomorrow different spot just a little bit further out and we we're hoping we can get on some more big muskies for you guys to watch next week so thanks for tuning in. Don't forget, go down below, subscribe, bell, like, thumbs up, all that good stuff. And uh, helps me keep doing videos so you guys can keep watching. Thanks, guys. See you guys next week.